The spirit travels wide and far, her breath is molten diamond. The zigzag pathway meets a star twinkling in silent depths beyond. On either side her footfalls lie what purple glooms of memories brooding along an edge of sky that somewhere meets the light with ease. Earth voices dim and pale and pass at lonely zenith glows of prayer until one holds a mirrored glass builded of circumambient air, wherein the reflexes of things mate in the depths of truth conjoint where souls are flames and dreams are wings hovering around a crystal point. Outside the colored pale of sense they hover round and round and Ronu drawing a great circumference by which the jeweled vast is bound. 1. Who tells me still that I must wait? All heaven about me lies in flower and I am standing at the gate wide opened on his ivory tower. What inward lightnings blaze and spire into ascending cones which blind? Behold, I guard the lonely fire a fringing every fleeting wind, making it visible a while to light the darks of alien thoughts which assume, as in a smile, a splendor yet unknown to men. I hold love's lantern in the hand and sentrywise I dream and wait. Gaze in the heart and see me stand guarding the quiet ivory gate. T.W.O. A shadow blushed with secret glows I move amidst a crowd of those who hardly know, and cannot guess the mysteries that lie unfurled within my deeper consciousness floated thrice delicately pearled above the fringes of the world. I seldom ever speak a word since to my heart it seems absurd that I should ever speak at all. And yet, because the lips must speak between the dawn and even fall I make each word of mine a streak revealing some high mountain peak. How marvellous the heart hath grown, master of beauty glimpsed alone. Through many months of solitude in a still ecstasy withdrawn garnering mood on shining mood, my soul hath passed through hush, end gone beyond the ever-changing dawn. 3. Throated with the darkling blue of innumerable stars trills eternal silence through time's dark shadow-builded bars. And I hear it in the deep heart that with it sits and sings. Heaven is a soaring sleep of enchanted fires and wings. Bend, O oh sky-drunk spirit, bend at the shrine of light and shade. Beauty ever at the end is a new beginning made. 4. Someone told me in my sleep, fool. You know not how to weep and these words were uttered half in a tone which seemed to laugh. When I counted up the tears I had shed through bygone years, lo, what I had counted up was unworthy of your cup. 5. Molten states of mind flowing like a wind lightly without stop or a mountain top. Then the flesh becomes twenty million hums of seraphic choirs melting into fires. And the form is lost. The dark line is crossed all is but one high concentrated eye. 6. Weighted down by daily speech lies an inarticulateness in a manner few may guess, at a depth that some may reach. Until through the bitter damp of the scooped lonesome darks the awakened spirit marks life's deep blackness with his lamp. Wrapped in vaporous moods of sleep lies the silence, brooding low on the margin of a glow laughing whitely on the deep. Seven. I am gifted with a lonely breath which I draw in solitude apart, unconcerned with the dim measure of death, flowing like a stream above the heart far away, beyond my little self, reigns a hush of well-arranged thoughts on a voiceless level, as on a shelf deftly moulded glimmering honeypots. I am brimming inwardly with things undiscovered yet by outer sight. I am flight that soars with folded wings, I am a dumb hero of the light. 8. Linger no longer on the dim shore of dreams that wheel and vanish in air, linger no more, O oh linger no more on the verge of the unaware. The river is flowing crystal and deep, and the voices of love have dimmed and paled are and life on the surface is only asleep by somber expectancy veiled. Waken, O oh voyager. Where is your oar? White mood dawn around you flowers. Linger no longer on the dim shore of lonely unconscious powers. 9. I wait for nothing now, alone I sit and build dreams that are old and strange. The squirrel on the bough is very slowly stilled to starlight on a range. That is the way I see. These eyes take on a sight making all solids melt into infinity washed in a drowsy light trembled into a belt. 
All that is wild and warm in nature doth aspire suddenly through my mood. Above dim worlds of form, above all breath a no fire, invisibly I brood. 10. I stood on vision's darkling ridge and saw the earth of shadow spin like to a mournful tremulous midge above the gold white flower within. Blinded with centuries of sleep, intoxicated with small flight, it beat its wings along the deep and troubled the unearthly fight, the light that surges, heaves and rolls, a wonder ocean widely foamed bearing across the sails of souls mid shadows timed to stars, and homed. 11. All is unreal. Color dies along the margin of the eyes leaving behind the memory of color that we cannot see kindled in far invisible skies. The soul is as a womb and gives a far-off truth to all that lives above itself, and slowly draws earth shapes to dark eternal laws through flowered and fired fugitives. All is unreal. Music blends with silence far away, and ends. The wind blows out the wandering lamp and leaves the unembodied tramp, a spirit past the need of friends. 12. Gaze deep within and you will find that human breath is but a wind blowing across a lightless gap from mountain cap to mountain cap. Laughter, with all its scarlet stir, is but the old interpreter of lips that vanish into pale dream hush behind a snow white veil. Life is an inn upon the way where man must rest a little day, before he journeys forth again towards higher beauty, higher pain. 13. Straight as an arrow I am shot through purple quivering air towards a distant dreamy dot on the forehead of last prayer. And surely I will pierce it through in one last tremulous hour when nothing shall remain but blue high vacancy in flower. 14. Dreams. We have lived together and through all storms prevailed, yeah. In the cloudless weather and when the sun was veiled. We have not ever altered our old decided track nor have our footsteps faltered even in days grown black. For we have ever travelled upon a steed of light and easily unravelled height after lonely height. No earthy shadow trammels your keen enchanted speeds. O oh dreams! My burning camels! My goal enamoured steeds! 15. Scarlet flower hanging there! Single redness steeped in prayer. Round your attitude the air blushes into incense fire. Sensor filled with leaping wine, sensor of some far divine. Fire blushed along the line of heart pulsings ever higher. Watching you these eyes take on a sensation as of dawn scarlet rich and deep withdrawn into the self-dark of the sire. 16. I have returned to dreams of old, I grip the bygone centuries, the burning plains are molten gold which meet the solid sapphire seas. The drowsy myriad-breasted sails ascend like wings and vanish there where perilous and drunken gales are one with stilly diamond air. All is a passionate return unto the passionless estate. Behold, how silently I burn above tumultuous waves of fate seventeen. Harp strings tingle into wine on the dim horizon bend quivered to the circling line of a cup rim at the end of the feast of time that wins memory dusk from candles blown and another feast begins where the host and guest are one. Resonances echo wide over bare untroubled vasts, suddenly on every side kindles the white light that lasts and outlasts the little feast of our hollow backslash why human day, after songs and l carat MPs have ceased and pale guests have gone away, 18. What is this eternal urge driving me to songs and loves? Flower O oh heart! Upon the verge of the spaces where the doves of the stilliest starfires brood, and where one is drowsing lone in a giant solitude over which no wind has blown. 19. They have all walked into my breast, nurslings of nature, mute or loud, I seem a parenthood of rest a multiplying rose and cloud, and cleaves the waters into foam sobbing along the silent sands, my heart becomes all nature's home, I stroke the whole world with my hand. Sometimes I am at one with things in such a poignant living way that all my cells become as wings which rise above the fire and clay, and grow to separate souls that with strange mysteries men cannot guess and in a molten gold and blue of mood become a rich caress. For they have all walked into my heart, the wave, the wind, the bird, 
the cloud I hold them all in lofte apart above themselves become a crowd. 20. Give me the lonely roadway and I will make it sing of all heaven become an amethyst marriage ring. I have my songs unnumbered milestoning the silence that is the long roadway of what I sing. I have my dreams unsated even though from fulfillment to fulfillment of dreams I go. 21. Lambently the moods float one by one late and soon, blushed purpurately by some invisible sun wooing a moon. From where do they come? And where do they go? None may mark these winged cloud seraphs that gleam and glow out of the dark. Lazily in a placid line they sail sped by some urge, wonder boats of life behind a veil on a trembling verge. 22. Transmuted, the nature of old once haunted by shadows grey and chill burns like a vision of gold on the altars of will. Exquisitely solemn the heartbeats to a measure sounded afar, each heartthrob happening apart, self-rich, is a star. Memories are as bygone things beyond memory burning in space. Oh. What a warm gold aureole rings the hushed lone face that is life grown full and reserved with nothing to waste, difficultly gripped and curved to a sky of unhaste. 23. Self-mastery is as a feast where lamps and musics are increased, and wines that flow are leaping up like growing magic in the cup. Lonely living self-control is the high wedding of the soul, when cells are bells that calmly chime the self's eternal mating time. 24. Beloved, I am merry-hearted being with true music gifted, the water from the wine has parted and the pearl from the sand is sifted. See, my soul is many-sided singing, always singing glad, oh. Truth from fossid is divided, and the splendor from the shadow. Glimmers wasted, glory scattered have been gripped within and woven. The gray ball of earth is shattered, heaven on some new heaven is cloven. 25. Wanderer. There is an ache in your feet that never ceases, never tires. Is it because in your heart silently beat the brooding and ancient fires? They have climbed summits and lonesomely dared difficult and winding ways moonless and slippery. How calmly you have fared through numberless nights and days. Wanderer. There is a vestal purity in all your movements deep and strange. Unchangingly the measure in your footfall measures time and change. 26. There is a tree of emerald growing out of the dark laden with moon-rich fruits that lamp-like mark silent air lone garnering shimmers and odors which become embodied through man's moods to images ripe and rich. 27. Millions of singers have come and gone and yet I dare to sing. It is not the singer that matters at all, the song is the thing. The souls of singers must surely bloom upon the verge of time, again and again, though the lips may change with changing time. Mists may gather around a name, and the flame of song may dim, but it is enough that singers come to timework him. To timework him who works the stars so palpitant and white. God. I am grateful to you because I'm one singer of light. 28. Winds blow, clouds fleet, skies are still. There is a noon bear beat around you lonely hill. I am that hill who stands centering a plain golden fired, a grand shadowgraph of pain. In every line and curve I, as it were, a deep necessity serve of the plain that is bare. 29. My heart is silent, all the words that once danced on these lips grow full of a hush as of birds when twilight drips over the breathless boughs and over the silver quivering pool my heart has become a drowse golden pale and cool. Nobody enters the door of my heart that is open wide upon the love that ever more muses within me, I'd like a twilight star beaming above the little fires of pain, of longing, and of love that is loved in vain. 30. I am alone. All that I see is God immutably expressed through this huge solitude of me and skied in ancient rest. Trees are my tongues that will not speak revealing the high secret which is rooted on a mountain peak within, that gloweth rich. Bend down, O sky. And slowly curve over the beauty I preserve. 31. 
Blue distance lies between the skies and these eyes. And yet I scale both rich and pale hues that veil air a beamed, glinted, gleamed, concave dreamed. Like a note see me float to remote realms that shine like to wine of higher line. Distance arcs space and marks outer darks. But I climb blue, sublime timeless time. 32. Speak not any more to me if your vision cannot see the intense white soul I bear glistening like morning air. Do not crave my friendship if you stand not upon the cliff of my thinking, mute and high that is now at one with sky. Come not near me if your hand cannot touch and understand that these hands of mine are but hands in which glow fate is shut. 33. Give me an hour of inward peace and I can work the full release of songs that carry in their words the impulse of far bodiless birds. I have a corner in the soul that holds the wide world in control and draws from images a bright and wonder-laden life of light my eyes are grapes whjch swiftly burst upon the universe in thirst and quench the lips that linger there where solid nature woos the air. Give me a little floated hour and I can gather love and power out of whose substance I can mould world upon world of fairy gold. 34. I am each pair of scarlet lips, I am each breath, each mind, I am the fleet of sailing ships and the beauty left behind. I am the magical wide rim of heavens that assume the exquisite hushed light of him under a veil of gloom. There is bright breathing everywhere which makes the whole world live an eternity in ardent prayer on the mouth of the fugitive. Identity is knowledge, and the quivering twilight star appears along an edge of land, love's white shed tear afar. 35. Everywhere the musics will fire like, and the holy psalm of star myriads make appeal to my depths of listening calm. There is but a naked height of vibration piercing through dark extremes of light in light farly fringed with limpid blue. All is ringed with reverie, deeps are dancing on the line that divides myself from me and the earth from the divine. 36. Beauty has no use for use, but exists alone, apart in a deep eternal truce with the inviolate heart. Fires wander, odors swim on the verge of idle power which proclaims the depths of him blown to a darkling flower. Beauty comes into her own suddenly unveiled to youth. She is wondrously alone, rich with a self-pure truth. 37. Fire pale the pulse doth throb and seem hint of pure prophesies that climb slowly fulfilled from dream to dream through changing challenges of time. For it is certain that we tread ascendingly from steep to steep, all heaven circling round the head announcing kingships dark and deep. Beyond each little guess that grooves life and outcasts it from the flame, the light in each one dwells and moves unshackled by a form and name. 38. Noonday with its silver glare, noontide with its cloudy foam floating on a sea of air that forgets to roam. Wide across the vast I see mine own spirit floated high, jeweled immortality edged by lonely sky. Music has renounced its claim, hushed a wave and wind and lyre I am silence mixed with flame, reticence with fire. 39. Heart. We have found the level of dream unhurrying and slow, like to a lake that nothing can dishevel for no winds blow. The height on which we linger the lone day long makes me outgrow myself as singer into song, and song outgrow its singing into a lull. The sea remains. Cancelled is the brief winging of the gull. 40. Dream ache and spirit loneliness upon the shining silence press and set vibrations, winged and white, bird like athwart a lake of light. Millions of silver birds and gold with plumage fashioned out of cold and elemental fire, seem to stir all heaven into dream. Deep in the being I remain and watch them floating through a rain of emanations, swift yet slow, imagery of breaths a glow. 41. What hush hath settled down in me? What miracle of truth unguessed. It seems as though eternity had flowered forever in the breast. I am at rest. Am I not stilled, beyond a doubt, has not my being found release? Somebody has been working out beauty through agonies that cease. I am at peace. 42. 
Freed from the chains of living I would live alone and apart, with a deep and divine forgiving of all heaven in the heart. The forgiveness of the being in its God intensity. For such perfect freeing, one would that I were free. Music floats and flowers on the stilly evening air, it has uncanny powers to work on the unaware. I listen and feel me slowly dissolve to an inner state of a silence that is holy, lonely and uncrete. There is no day, no morrow in a certain depth of the soul where beyond all time and sorrow all men have reached the goal. One self-same destination, awaits all men afar. Heaven is a blue ablation to stars become one star. 43. Silver-blushed gold of eventide, a host of wind-blown palms waving against the huge horizon certitude of gathered calms. There are birds wandering still and the wind is blowing sharp. I sit, the whole being dedicated to the evening like to a harp. A part of me slipping behind the veils of timed clay listens to the stars which are the being's notes heard far away. 44. Spirit. When I look around me I clearly realize how the time of earth has bound me heart and eyes. I would silently inherit your immeasurable height. Woo this body into spirit, power of light. 45. Is it not marvelous that immeasurableness holds dot upon dot in its embrace, guess upon guess? Why should infinity condescend at all to be colored by the dawn, noon and even fall? And yet, it is each dot that concentratedly defines the inner meaning sealed in infinity. 46. The years roll by in a curve of sweep along the heart's unchanging deep. One by one they are come and gone but the timeless soul goes on and on, like a voiceless light that slowly engraves the ocean's calm on wandering waves. The yellow days and the dark blue nights are only the glimpses of unseen heights catching the glow of an inward blush that is dark with excess of its own fire hush. The years roll by and foam on the fringe of life that catches tinge upon tinge. Many a moon, and many a sun. The years are many, the soul is one. 47. No earthly norm or shibboleth would I in life or mood express. My breath leaps forth to meet your breath, exquisite everlastingness. See. I have made a fane of me at which I kindle to your name pale incense reeds of memory that pass, and leave the living flame. Even from wandering beauty freed I dream within and cease to roam. My soul hath ever been decreed to be alone without a home, stilled at the centre, where the feel of busy life is known to dim into the image of a will distantly rolling towards him, a chariot wheel immense, and time to some far measure heard in sleep. Still at the centre, I have climbed, will-wise, the dark and lonely steep. 48. Unfathomable is the spirit's law that bends all nature to its naked will and fills all human pain with heavenly or until it is a star in lone self-realization burning there above the crooked hill of fate that stands against the spirit's sapphire air. A diamond-breasted eagle soaring high above the darkling worlds of sin and hate, all heaven concentrated in its eye fixed wide and lone and far gripping the universe in ruby claws that tear the darkness, deep and full and late, into rich chasms of dawn-painted paws. 49. Life is a very ancient feast a feast of many lamps which shall be shared only by lonely travellers and tramps, only those who have but empty hands and whose feet know not rest, but whose eyes are richer than scarlet flowers and hearts full of quest. For they shall be calm witnesses of far enchanted sights, true masters of crowded loneliness caressing depths and heights. And they shall tread long ways and come to this old old feast of lamps, these uncrowned kingly guests, these lone travellers and tramps. 50.